Hey everybody, Jennifer Tate here with Over315 and today I'm going to be talking about M, M Network. So M Network is an MLM, which is a multi-level marketing company. I didn't stutter, yay. <laughs> um, so they kind of have a negative connotation, MLMs in general, um, because of pyramid schemes. And ultimately, any multi-level marketing company has that pyramid effect, but not all of them are schemes. So the important thing in finding a good MLM is to find a product that you really believe in and to find a company that isn't basing your income solely on bringing more people into the network. Now, you can earn money from M Network by selling the product. So in that sense, you've already gotten a check off there. Um, they are heavy into the pyramid. So building your team and increasing the amount of product that goes out into the community, etc. That's just good marketing on any company. So this is ultimately network marketing in which people go out and face to face with people and sample products, give them products, get them interested in products, sell them products. And yeah, it's not the easiest job in the world. You're not going to get rich quick, but if you put in hard work and effort, you can earn money. I'm not going to lie to you because I know there are companies, um, I'm not going to mention any names, but I have sold cosmetics years and years ago, um, like 13 years ago. So right after I became an adult, um, and I bought in to the company and the idea and, oh, I can get rich quick and, you know, I can earn all this stuff and I can get a car and ultimately, A, it wasn't for me. Some people do great with it. And B, it was just too much into buy our product, buy our product, buy our product. And then you can make a business out of it. So if I'm going to buy a product, I might as well have a store or something like that. Now, with M Network, you still end up buying a product. You're not required to buy anything unless you sign up for the special that's going on right now, which is $99.95 for membership. It comes with 24-hour um, customer support for your customers, and, um, you know, they have, like, chat, email, all of that. Um, they do all the shipping, boxing, prepping, all that for you. Pretty much all you're doing is the marketing aspect of it. So you're going out and talking to people and saying, hey, this is my product. Try it. Tell me if you love it. And if they love it, they buy it. If they don't, they don't. Um, so you'll hear you have to be like really persistent and whatever. I'm not that person. So that doesn't really work for me. But I have found, and I only started recently, and... I got very sick and obviously haven't been doing very much. Um, so I've only been recording videos. I haven't been going out to people and talking to them and interacting with them. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that aspect of how it goes. But just in doing the live recordings on Facebook and doing YouTube videos here and talking to like two people when I went to work, um, I have gotten great feedback from people. People love the product. So... My best friend has tried it, um, and no, she hasn't bought into the company. Am I going to pressure her? Maybe. No. <laughs> um, but she has tried Go, she's tried Trim, she's tried Soul, and she's tried Smart, and I think she might have even tried Course, and maybe she tried all of them. Um, and she's given me great feedback. In fact, she's given me better feedback than I gave, so, um, because she actually likes the flavors, of some of them that I don't like. Um, I sent out a sample to my aunt Jamie and she came back and she also likes one of the flavors that I hate. Cause she was like, why don't you like soul? And I was like, because soul feels like it's taking my soul. It tastes horrible. Um, oh, that was a horrible taste. Ooh. Um, but she was like, I love the taste of soul. So that was great feedback. Um, I gave some to a security officer at work and she tried it um, and she actually loved the taste of the stick, the trim stick. Um, and she doesn't like sticks. She doesn't like stuff in her water. So that was really positive for me. She said it tastes like Kool-Aid. 
without all the added like sugar and stuff. So a mild Kool Aid. Um, same with a security guard that worked. Uh, another security guard that worked with her, um, and it was a guy. He tried it. He said it looks like a fruit fruity drink, and it does. It's pink. Um, but he said that the taste tasted like Kool Aid. So, um, my daughter has taken it and she's liked it. And then the only other person I have sent two other samples out, um, one to my cousin Mackenzie and one to my cousin Tracy Lee. And since I'm not one of those persons who can like say, Hey, not to bug you, but I'm bugging you. Um, I don't know. Cause I haven't actually talked to them since I sent them the sample. So I'll probably send them an email just to like, Hey, even if you're not going to buy it, could you tell me what you think about it so that I can tell people on my YouTube channel, this is what people think of the product. So I was actually going to make a form on Google and any prospective customers. <coughs> no, my dog. Rico. Ah, no. Okay. I'm going to wrap this up really quick because I don't want to record. <coughs> I'm going to talk to everybody later and yeah, I'll talk more about the format another time. Bye.